What's going on guys? It's Tipograki here back with another Animal Jam video. Today in this video I'm going to be discussing some unrated things in Animal Jam. Now by that I mean things that aren't really that important or people that really don't pay attention to or people that just don't really care about. But I feel like we should care about these things that I'm going to mention or at least acknowledge them. But before I start the video, I want you guys to know that I will be hosting another giveaway. I do daily giveaways, so make sure to stay tuned at the end of the video and see if you won a prize and if you guys want to enter for a new prize today. I also decided to make this type of video because I've noticed that the old trends in Animal Jam that should come back did really well. I don't really know why. All I did was just give my opinion on what trends should come back in Animal Jam. So I'm going to make a similar video just like that right now, except that I'm going to be explaining some underrated things in Animal Jam that no one pays attention to that we should start paying attention to. Now the first one is arcade games. I've mentioned this before but like no one plays arcade games and it's really sad and now I don't mean like no one like I'm not trying to throw anyone under the bus or anything. I don't know I just don't see anyone in the solo arcade anymore and I don't know I just feel like nowadays it's about trading and trying to become famous on Animal Jam like that kind of stuff and it's cool that you are involved in the Animal Jam community like on Instagram and YouTube that's awesome but I feel like we should like you know just like go back to those old days and just like play more mini games I really miss like watching videos of people just talking and playing mini games I don't know why I always thought that was like fascinating and I always thought it was interesting back in the day when I used to watch a lot of Animal Jam videos another underrated thing are the parties that Animal Jam hosts now I'm talking about like the beta party the dinner only party the wolf's only party the new year's party you know those seasonal parties that animal jam does announce and even the make your own parties like that was an update about like a year ago and you know animal jam does spend a lot of their time on their updates and it just really sucks that no one goes to the parties as well like i don't go to the parties and i shouldn't really be talking but like i don't go to the parties and i feel like i should like that's part of my animal jam childhood that's part of the animal jam experience to experience the parties and it's just really sad because like i don't know i just don't go there anymore so i feel like the party should definitely um, become more- No! I'm trying to- uh, Okay, need to be last. Anyways, I feel like we should start going to the Animal Jam parties more. Um, I feel like no one really pays attention to that feature anymore. And, you know, it just, it just really sucks. And something else that people don't really notice is how hard Animal Jam works. Now, people think that Animal Jam only cares about people with membership or famous people or all that other stuff. No, Animal Jam clearly cares about each and every one of you. Like, obviously, it may not seem like it because they don't reply to every single comment or they don't buddy you, but they really do. Like, without any of us, without you watching this video, there would be no Animal Jam. So obviously Animal Jam appreciates everyone and I just feel like we shouldn't really be judging Animal Jam or being stereotypical with them because, I don't know, I just feel like it's wrong to judge them when we don't really know Animal Jam personally. You guys have to realize that Animal Jam puts so much hard work and effort into their game and I'm not just saying that. Like, if you l look at it, like, I look at the details. I pay attention to the details. And when you look at Animal Jam's game, like, it's crazy how many details Animal Jam has. Like, imagine, they have to make all of these items, they have to make all of these pets, they have to make all of these animals, these games, the dens, the lands, and even, like, the- even the art for the lands. Like, look at this. Someone obviously drew this. Someone had to make that animation right there with all the phantoms coming out. Like, it's just really crazy. Like, and l the little, like, animations and the items, like, that all takes time and effort. So, I feel like we just start appreciating how hard Animal Jam does work on their game because it's not easy to run a game, especially when there's millions of other people around the world playing it. Animal Jam community on YouTube has been uh, through a lot of things. You know, we've had a lot of phases. Uh, we've had, we've seen a lot of similar faces, some old faces, new faces, you know, like, you know, like famous, semi-famous jammers. And I feel like these are some jammers that are so underrated that deserve so much more recognition. Like, it's not even funny. Now I'm going to suggest some people, uh, Ellipsity, Bagel, Cheerios, Try, Etched. A lot of them are my friends, and I'm not saying that because they are my friends, but I genuinely do love their videos. Like, they make good videos, it's quality content, like, Etched, you have no idea. She's probably, I'm not even, like, trying to throw shade or anything, I don't know. But she is definitely one of the most funniest and most entertaining people in this community. Like, I don't even watch Animal Jam videos that much, but she is someone I watch. Like, she's just so funny. Like, her editing's amazing, it's on point. Her, like, everything about her is just perfect, okay? Like, it's not even funny. So, like, I definitely recommend watching Etched. And Elepsity, he makes skits. He's literally the male version of Jelly Jones. Like, that's how I see Elepsity. He's really nice. He's caring. He makes skits. He's very creative, and he works really hard on his videos as well. Literally, just like Jelly Jones. I definitely recommend subscribing to these people I did mention in Cheerios. Even though he, like, kind of makes average videos like us, 
he definitely does work harder and you know his videos aren't bad like he makes some good quality videos and it's just sad that he doesn't get much recognition and that's the same with all the other jammers like there's so many people that make good quality videos and they don't have the numbers and it, it's just really sad and it just sucks these days that the only way to get views is clickbait or unless you're wisteria or jelly jones who naturally get views and that's amazing for them i mean like who doesn't love wisteria and jelly though like i do like they're great when i made a skit didn't do so well but it's all right like i didn't do it just to get views i did it because i wanted to but then when i made like a code video or oh i got banned video it did amazing like it just makes no sense why that kind of video would do well instead of a high quality took me a week video you know what i'm saying like my lyric prank took me forever to make and it only has 2,000 views compared to this code video that took me literally 20 minutes to make it just it really sucks quality over quantity guys another underrated thing the jammer walls okay when jammer walls came out it was pretty interesting it was like Facebook and Animal Jam, you know, like you can write in people's posts. That was kind of cool. Yeah, I had a couple of people write me this week on my wall, but like not a lot. And I only have 1.6k views. Yikes, that's not a lot. I feel like nobody really uses the Jammer wall. Like everyone comment below right now if you're watching this point of the video. Do you use the Jammer wall? Because I don't use the Jammer wall. I don't know who does. I don't use it. Yeah, I don't know guys. That's just something I don't like use. It's a feature that I just don't care about which i should i should care about every feature in animal jam because i'm literally talking about animal jam is like they work so hard on their video blah 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 and like i'm here like oh yeah well i don't really use some of their features i don't know it's just my opinion another underrated thing is kimbara outback really guys i get it's a desert but it really doesn't have to be that dead this land is literally useless i'm not even trying to be mean like nobody uses this land and i love gabby's animal hospital like i'm not even kidding i go here frequently because you know why because gabby's my queen gabby wild follows me on instagram you know not trying to brag or anything but yeah she's like my 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 queen like I, I love you gabby if you're watching this video please comment or something like you i'm your number one fan like you're my favorite person at hhq i don't even know if she works at hhq but like she's a she's like she's with them except for kate she's like my og favorite and clark i feel like nobody comes to gabby's animal hospital nobody goes to epic wonders nobody goes to the convention center like nobody goes there and it's just ugh, why why guys why conservation museum i meant conservation not convention sorry so i feel like those are some things we should you know just start caring about more another thing that is so underrated that i remember when i was little like i was like 12 13 i would look at this every single day update it i would check on it and this is the jammer central they posted things that other jammers would make and it was really nice and they don't have it anymore but they used to have like a howl thing here like it would have a shout out howl and jammers all over animal jam would just write nice comments over here and i got on it before it's really nice bring back the howls and the calendar like i really do miss that and another thing that's really underrated is unfortunately the alpha headquarters again animal jam comes out with a bunch of amazing new fresh ideas but i think the alpha headquarters was maybe a little too extra and i'm not hating or anything again the details are amazing like look at that you see that little sunlight like that's detail like that's something i love but i feel like nobody comes to the alpha headquarters and i feel like and i know animal jam wanted to step up their game and make some new stores or i guess like a new land you know that kind of thing but it just really sucks that they worked harder than this and like nobody really comes to alpha headquarters like every time i come here it's dead besides my friends obviously get out friend you know what's another thing i really missed back in the day when the Animal Jam Journey book was actually a big deal, when everyone was desperate to get every single prize in this, now obviously this is a new account so I don't have all of them anymore, but on my old account I did. This is more of like if you've been playing for years now and like you're, you were new in Animal Jam and you wanted to see what this was. And role playing! Wow, you cannot forget about role playing! It's kind of crazy how role playing is still a thing after all these years that Animal Jam has been a thing. Of course, there are many other features and lands and items and other things that have been kind of left behind and it really does suck to see that. You know, obviously things change, people have different opinions, Animal Jam comes along with new ideas and the old ones kind of just disappear. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys want to see more videos, maybe some overrated things in Animal Jam like overrated jammers, dens. But anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get on with the daily giveaway for today. In this video, we had over 215 comments. Thank you guys so much for all the support and you guys commenting, it really does mean a lot. So now let's pick the winner right now and hopefully they followed all the rules. Alright, my favorite den is the Aquarium Den. 
All right, they gave me their favorite den, so thank you to Myth80 if I even said your name right. But, you know, you won the spike, so congratulations. You're a non-member! All right, you know what? It's it's cool. I'm going to buddy you anyway because you watch my videos and you won the giveaways. So congratulations to Myth80. You have about 42 hours in order to claim your prize. Today in this video, I am going to be giving away. I'm closing my eyes. Ready, set, and go. All right, I really didn't close my eyes, but anyways, today I'm going to be giving away a purple short collar. It's not a long collar, but it's still a spike. Anyway, so in order to win, all I have to do is obviously subscribe to this channel, like the video, and comment below something underrated that you enjoy. Now, like, it can be the arcade games, a specific den, a jammer, someone, I don't know. What's underrated that I still really like is the movie theater. No one really goes to the movie theater, but I love the movie theater. It's just nice anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and follow me on instagram at typical aj and i'll see you guys in my next video goodbye